It's been called the nerd handshake. Jeremy Lin and fellow Nick Landry Fields pretend to study the Bible and finish by putting imaginary glasses into a pocket protector. But Lin has managed to dunk and dazzle his way to overcome the Asian geek stereotype. Jeremy Lin does it again! Growing up Asian American, my sisters and I were painfully aware of the biases, but it was worse for my brother. Pop culture is full of Asian nerd caricatures. Think Long Duck Dong in 16 Candles. What's happening, hot stuff? Or Mr. Chow in The Hangover. Funny fat guy fall off page. You know the assumptions. Good at math, not so good with the ladies. That's where J.T. Tran comes in. He's the self-styled Asian playboy. You going up to the girl? Hi. He believes it's possible for any Asian American man, in fact any guy, to channel his inner heartthrob. Think Harry Shum Jr. from Glee, John Cho from Star Trek, or Daniel Day Kim of Hawaii Five-0. Oh. What's your best pickup line? My best pickup mm -hmm. line is simply to come up to you and tell you that you're beautiful. It's not that hard to mess up when you're nervous and you're stuttering. Touch, turn, release. Full teeth. Everybody say cookies. Cookies. So you're actually expected to go home and do this homework, because I know how my Asian brothers are. Welcome to the ABCs of Attraction, JT's dating boot camp for Asian men. He's teaching these guys how to walk, talk, and dress in order to pick up women. That's so tight. I didn't go on a single date until I was in college. JT says he can help these guys because he was once in their shoes. You weren't always the Asian playboy. You were <laughs> a bit not. of a nerd. Absolutely, absolutely. I majored in aerospace engineering. A rocket scientist. Yes. Crush my enemies. Ronald is here because he wants to expand his options in the dating arena. You're buff, you're handsome, you've got style. Why are you here? I want to just break out of my Asian circle. My friends aren't as willing to go out to a mixed club because they're just more Asian-centered. I like, I like to taste a rainbow, you know what I mean? JT's rise from geek to guru has inspired Ronald and his classmates to fork over a jaw-dropping $3,500 for a weekend of JT's romantic stylings. Paying attention, paying attention, paying attention. Controversial tip number one, get rid of what he calls the Asian poker face. You've got to change your facial expressions. You know, if you're telling a sad story, it looks sad. If you're telling a excited story, look excited. Tip number two, the touch turn release. Go like this. When you make eye contact, smile. Next up, a little fashion advice. When you roll up this, and it also makes your torso look longer. Wow, look at your hands. <laughs> That's cute. On hand to assist JT is Sarah, a blonde wing woman in four inch stilettos. And a wingman, a former rock and roll roadie named Garrett. Uh, yeah, literally shake it. Like, just do this, because it's an exercise, right? Hey, oh my, bling bling. <laughs> After two days of lectures, it's time for a little field research. Look at these handsome Asian men. Ronald and his colleagues are dressed up and ready to go. I practiced some uh, whatever I learned today, and I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. You know? <laughs> the guys are hesitant at first. I need to come in with a little bit more energy. But with more pep talks and some liquid courage, the guys loosen up. Ronald introduces himself to a pretty blonde. They get to talking. And soon, he's giving her a palm reading. His newly acquired pickup skills seem to be working all the way to the dance floor. Back at the hotel, the guys meet for a post-mortem, and Ronald is the man of the hour. You're the one making guys jealous. You know, like, damn, I, I wish I was that guy. To see all these guys around me just like staring at me, just dancing with his gorgeous shoes. Yeah. From then on, like, it was just really just like very, it was easy. However, he now says he's more confident about dating both Asian and non-Asian women. For the rest, just one night out and one step closer to overcoming the Asian geek stereotype. That was a lot of fun. Was like, that was a lot of fun. I'm super stoked with you guys. Um, everybody here, like, pushed. 
Who is a better man to, you know, today than they were yesterday? <laughs> All, right. All right, group hug. All right. And they've discovered that the only way to break the stereotype is to not believe it. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.